Earl Galland, Shop Foreman here at Township Chevrolet for another edition of uh, Tech Talk. We're going to touch base on Tech 2 Diagnostics. So anyone who's been in here before with any vehicle and had a check engine light come on, uh, if you look on your, uh, on your bill or on your, uh, on your slip you get from the girls out front, you'll see on there one of the lines might be Tech 2 Diagnostics. So that means you've come in here with a check engine light on, or another light on, ABS light, airbag light, whatever. Something that requires our scan tool to hook up to read a code from, and you're gonna get it repaired. Now, um, if, it's a, if it's a deal where it's customer pay, let's say, let's say you're flipping the bill, your car no longer has warranty on it, or you bring it here and it's a non-GM vehicle. Um, what we do with our Tech 2 basically is, it's $79, and that's gonna allow us to hook our scan tool up, the technician to road test the vehicle, hook the scan tool up, read the codes off the vehicle, uh, find out what the codes are, kind of prioritize them in a list if there's more than one to what we should look at fixing first. Um, check for bulletins uh, and recalls that may be related to that, uh, that uh, trouble code or diagnostic trouble code, which is DTC. So if you hear me say that during the video, that's what that is. Um, and it's about roughly a half hour of the text time. And then by that point, we should have a better idea of what we're gonna be into to make the repair and then that would be where the advisor would come out and speak with you as a customer and say, listen, this is what the technician has found. This is the, the direction they're headed in. Uh, and this is what we need to do. And then you can decide whether you want to keep, you know, going with the diagnostics. Or maybe you're lucky and at that point, we've already found out what the problem is. Sometimes uh, we pull a code, there's a related bulletin or, or something to it. Or, the, or sometimes the DTCs are very precise and will lead the technician to exactly what the problem is. Unfortunately, a lot of times it doesn't. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview on what we're doing today uh, and what we do with the Tech 2 Diagnostics. So that way, when we say that to you and you're kind of sitting in the waiting area wondering to yourself, I wonder what's going on with my vehicle out there, you kind of get a better idea. So I've already started this one here. Uh, customer pulled in the drive through with this truck. They've got a check engine light on. They've already discussed with the uh, advisor and the drive through uh, person out front that there's no drivability concerns with this, meaning as other than the light being on, the driver wouldn't have any idea or the customer wouldn't have any idea that there was a problem with the vehicle. So I've gone for a road test to confirm that there's nothing else I can feel because uh, I kind of maybe look at things as a total and overview. Maybe it's something that the cu customers miss. So I've gone for a drive to make sure there is no drivability concerns, make sure there's no other lights are on the dash that may be related. Uh, that maybe the customer or the advisor never discussed with me, which there's not. So all we've got in this vehicle is check engine light with no, um, no drivability. So my next step, because of the year of the vehicle, we have three scan tools here. We have our older scan tool, which does basically our 2012 and older. And then we have our newer scan tool, which does 2012 and up, and that's for our GM stuff. We also have a, a launch, which is our uh, aftermarket scan tool, which allows us to work on every other make and model besides that. Um, so this here is our, G our GM one. This is the newest one. The vehicle I'm working on today is an 18, so obviously I'm using the new one. So this is wireless, and this, uh, the older scan tools used to have the buttons with the screen on them. What we do with this, we hook this up and this wires wirelessly connects to, to my laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll take you around the vehicle, show you where this thing hooks up and kind of show you how we get this going. Uh, and then we'll go to the computer and I'll show what we find. So here we are in the customer's vehicle. The first thing we're gonna do is turn the key on. We have to put power to all the modules to wake them all up. So that way this can communicate with it. And underneath uh, every vehicle OBD2, which means basically 1996 and newer, it doesn't matter what type of vehicle it is, it's old in North America, has to have an OBD2 connector, which is shaped like this here. And it's usually underneath the steering column and, and it's, that's where it's supposed to be. Some of the odd vehicles will have them on the passenger side under the dash, but for the most part, it's underneath the dash here, underneath the steering column area. Uh, you plug the scan tool in, you can obviously see it's lit up. Check mark says we're good to go. I'm just gonna set this on the dash of the vehicle and we'll go around to the computer and I'll show you what we pick up. Okay, so now we're back at the computer. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start a, a program we have called GDS. This is gonna be our diagnostic. So when I click this, uh, it's gonna come up. There's different scan tools in the shop. They all have their own serial number. We're gonna select the one we have in this vehicle and we're gonna to connect to it. And it's gonna come up just to verify, uh, it's gonna be, it's a GMC Sierra, it's the year of the vehicle we're working on. And I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and that's gonna get us in there. Um, I can do one of two things. We can either scan each module individually. I know there's an issue with the engine computer or PCM because the engine light's on or possibly the transmission computer. But what I like to do is as I go through and do a complete uh, vehicle scan, so it'll tell me if there's any other issues with this vehicle. Um, 
other than that. And sometimes uh, you could have a problem with a brake control module that could cause an issue with an engine module. So it's going to go ahead and ask me a few questions about what the vehicle is equipped with. So I'm going to answer those. Uh, and then it's going to do a vehicle scan module by module. It'll tell me how many their, uh, DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes are in that particular module. And it'll tell me if it passed and there's none. So if you see, there's the list of all the computers in this car. So you can see there's, there's quite a large list. Each one of those is a computer. All those computers talk to each other. So this is where things get a little complicated. So the one I'm concerned with right now, if I hit deta details here, it's going to bring this and just take it from a number. And it's actually going to lay it out to me uh, uh, in the code description. So there's three modules that have codes and there's three codes. The only one that's current right now is the engine control module. So that would explain why the light's on. So if you look here, this is the DTC. It's a P0442, which means a small leak in the EVAP system. So what I would do at this point, I'm gonna open up my information, which is SI. Uh, this is a program we have from GM to find out what we need to on a vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the particulars of this, of this uh, truck. Uh, and then what I can actually do is once I get into the service manual, I can actually put in that code that we've got, the P0442, and I can search that. And if there was any bulletins uh, or, or an issue that GM was aware of, it would come up here and it would give me bulletins and then it would tell me uh, how to make those repairs. So it's looking to save the technician time and it's also looking to save the customer time as well. So if there's been you know, 150 people with, with that concern in their vehicle and it's been the same problem every time, well, GM tracks all that information and they'll put a bulletin out to let us know so when yours comes in, instead of us going through all the diagnostics and making you wait to get your vehicle back, we can just go right to that particular spot in the truck or car and find it if that's what the issue is. So there's no bulletins on this vehicle. Uh, this is under warranty, so it's not a customer pay scenario. We'll still go and update the customer to let them know what's going on. So uh, it, it gives me the different engine options here. And then I'll click on that and it, you can see it's, it's, there's your P0442. And there's quite a, quite a list here that's gonna explain what sets the code, uh, what the code means, uh, possible causes, so there's quite a lot of information the tech has to go through. So this is where it would get into a bit more time. So we would go to you at this point. We'd let you know this one here, this vehicle has got the small leak. So the next step I would do is hook up our smoke machine, which fills the EVAP system full of smoke. And basically it's as easy as it sounds. I just look for smoke. I use the scanner to close all the valves off, um, fill the system with smoke, and then I just look for smoke. And if I see find the smoke leaking from a particular component, whether it be a gas cap, or a filler neck or one of the valves, then we replace that part and then we'd retest again to make sure it's done. So um, just kind of a quick rundown on exactly uh, of how it, how it works. Uh, there's kind of a miss out there that uh, computer will tell you everything you need to know. Um, all it does is basically send us in the dire general direction and then we have to take it from there and go a little further. So I hope this uh, helps ease your mind on uh, when you hear that diagnostic time required and and you're not really sure what's going on with your vehicle out here. Uh, every vehicle goes through the same steps. Obviously, it's a little different depending on the code and how many codes and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's pretty much all the same. So uh, any questions on this, uh, just drop it in the comments in the video. Uh, any more suggestions on videos, let me know. And we look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks.